given you is a sheet that you're going to collect your data on. And at the end of the day, we're going to graph it, okay? So you're focused on this side that has the empty chart. Put your name on the top. A good scientist always claims their work. Now, I told you that we are doing a science project, but what else will we be using today to help us measure? Okay. Math. Math. We're going to use our math skills. Now, we last week studied circles. How do we measure circles? Diameter. So we use the parts we have to mark all the diameter. And someone explain what the diameter is real quick. Remind us. Ashley. The center of the circle. Okay. A line to the center of the circle. A line to the center of the circle. And what does it have to touch? The two, the two points. Okay, the two points point. on the edge. The center of, point. It has and to touch. And two edges. Okay, so you're saying it's a line through the center of the circle, center point of the circle, with two the two edges touched, both outside edges. Mm -hmm. Two points on the outside. Okay, good. So our ice cube is in a circle, so how do you think we're going to measure our ice cube throughout the day? Diameter. 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 Now our project is to see who can make the best insulator and what kind of materials make the best insulation to keep things cold or hot, right? Today we're focused on the cold. So now, everyone has the same size Dixie cup filled with ice, okay? It used to be water, we froze it, now it's ice. So, the more you touch it, what's going to happen to it? It's going to melt. It's going to melt. So, right. So your job is, when I pass your thing out, when I pass your ice cup out, is you are going to measure it. Now, we practiced in inches last week. This week we're going to use the other side of the ruler, and we're going to use centimeters. Okay? I know I'm going to use So, again, you use that first line, and we line it up on the edge, and then we measure it to the, out, the other edge. Do you see that? Look real quick for me. Everybody, just move it. See this first little line? That's where we start, and then we look where the other edge ends. Okay, that's how we're going to measure it. Do you see that? I line. I'm going to line this one edge up with that very first line. And we're going to measure it. Do you see? We're going to use this first line. We're going to line it up with the outside edge. Now, we might have to estimate today or round. What does that mean? Okay, so we're going to round it to the next centimeter or estimate it because sometimes it's not going to be perfectly there. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you an ice cube, and you're going to not measure in inches, but measure it in what? Centimeters. Centimeters. Okay. So, after you measure it, put it directly into your insulator project so it doesn't lose much heat. Well, actually, it already has lost heat. We want to keep it cold. We don't want the heat to want to warm it up, right? Why does it fit in here with the ice on the bottom? If you're waiting on the ruler, you 